Season 5, Episode 5. The choices. Okay. Honestly, I'm impressed that's on fire rather than whatever monstrosity he put in the oven. <laughs> no, you you smother. You you're just you're adding. I think you're going to make Nicole reach the limit again. Uh-huh. That was the moment I asked myself, how did it come to this? Where did I go wrong? That's it. It was the day I met him. Oh. I was on the way to the tournament with mom and dad. <laughs> it was the day I met Richard. I mean, it all makes sense based on who Richard is. But we're about to get backstory, huh? Oh, they met his kids. Wait, we're gonna see our parents? Being a girl is not. What, what gender? F. Yeah, female. That. Uh huh? So, what if you had a son and it said M? Then what, what would M be? M comes after F, so I feel like that would be infinitely worse. What? I can totally see why Nicole is the way she is based on her parents right here. Man, freaking awful. Hey, get your Naruto run. Sick. I, I feel like you could have jumped over that. No. <laughs> hey girl, you don't have to run. I ain't going nowhere. Mother Nature is my doctor. Prescription hugs. Prescription hugs. Hey, moment of the time. Prescription hugs. God, he's such a hippie. Gotta love small. I love seeing all these younger versions of the characters we know. Then I realized I ah, was Richard. But what if I hadn't turned right? Where would I be now? Oh, the episode's called The Choices. Are we gonna see an alternate reality where she didn't meet Richard? Well, it took all day. I feel like you had jumped over that. Holy hell, I feel like this would be pretty accurate. Oh. Nope, I feel like this would be so much worse. I think this is, I think we're going to go through all the options, and I think the best option is that she ended up with Richard. Because she didn't end up with anyone, she would just, you know, like, there would, she would um, be a dictator, and, like, there would just be tyranny over the entire planet, probably. Or she ended up with Banana... Bob, that would just be annoying. It's literally driving her nuts. <laughs> yep, and then she goes nuts. Yep. So the best, the best reality is that we end up with Richard, huh? What? I just wanted to say I like girls with really short legs. What? He's like way older than you. Wait, are you doing that creepy thing where guys criticize girls to lower their confidence so they'll go out with them? You're way too intelligent for that kind of trick. Your parents don't love you. Am I crazy or is she like 12 and he's like 20? 
Okay. Oh, that is actually so sad. This is real, like, this is, like, really messed up, be because this is, like, this happens a lot. There are people that, like, you know, like, the amount of plastic surgery she's gotten just to, you know, look perfect or whatever, like, this is... Like, this is actually awful. This is actually terrible. Have you ever considered using the power of hugs as an alternative to modern medicine? She would just be dead, okay. The hugs would only transmit diseases faster. The butterfly? <laughs> I'm gonna have to write the mayor about how dangerous this part is. I know, right? Like, she just dies in almost every reality, anyways. I mean, you could just not interact with him. I know. To compete. Why? Because. Why? Oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> He's like a toddler. Why? Why? Shut up, you little shit. So, people will like me? But lots of people already like you. Really? Like who? Me. Well, this is really wholesome. But what would you do if you were me? If I had done everything you've done, sleep till I'm forty. <laughs> I mean, what should I do with my life? Hmm. Maybe start living it. Wait, that's actually really cute. What? Wait, I actually love this so much. Ah. Dang, they both got kicked out, huh? But they got each other. This is actually so nice. Anais, wait, Anais respelled her name? That's funny. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't change a thing. Aww. <laughs> and they probably think she's... That was the most wholesome episode I have ever seen of this show. That was incredible. What? I was not expecting all of that. I was like very intrigued getting backstory on her and Richard and all the different possibilities, the different choices she could make and like 
you know, her ending up with Richard is really the best option that could have ever happened, even with the way he is. But that whole montage section at the end was the cutest, most wholesome thing I've ever seen the show ever do, ever. That was great. I loved that. That was... I don't know, this... I I couldn't even... I had no words for it, really. I just... I was just kind of sitting there in awe. Like, I... It was so well done, and the music was great, and... Like, this was an incredible episode. This episode was so good. So unbelievably good. With an actual wholesome ending. Sometimes we've gotten close to them, but then, like, some abrupt thing happens and the episode ends. But this was actually a nice ending. <laughs> Wow. And, and like, you know, I like seeing Nicole's parents. You know, she takes a lot after them. You know, like, they kicked her out or she ended up leaving anyways. And Richard got kicked out of his house. And, like, they didn't even show up for their wedding. Like, it's it's very, like, this, it's very sad, but very, like, I don't know. This, this was a very emotional, but also very intriguing and heartfelt episode this is not the kind of stuff i expect from this show but i really appreciate when it happens it kind of reminds me what like the um i forgot what the episode was called it, it was pretty much the episode where like richard realized like where Gumball and Darwin don't think Richard's a good dad and, like, he had to, like, save Gumball at the end and, like, they did that whole flashback of him, like, taking his first steps and stuff. Like, like it, it's it's like that. Like, I love when the show actually does stuff like that. This is one of my favorite episodes ever. Honestly, this was so good. Like, I loved that. And now we have backstory on them, too. At least on Nicole, mainly, but... Like how they met, and also taking half the episode to run through all the other choices and realizing Richard is the best choice. And then just seeing a quick montage of their life together like that. I, I don't think I could have asked for anything more from this episode. I. This was brilliantly done. I think this was great. Also, Anais renaming herself is pretty funny. <laughs> it's very in character for her. Because it was what? And Anias or something, and then renamed to Anias or something. And I don't know. And then like her realizing at the end, she's like, you know what? I wouldn't change a thing, honestly. I don't know that this was very well done. We don't get these episodes often for this show, like like for Steven Universe or something. We we get emotional episodes all the time. That's primarily what the show is. But for something like this. It's so unexpected that when it hits, it hits hard. And this episode hit hard in all the best ways. More of this. Oh my god, I love this so much. More of this, please. Oh, this was so good. Alright, I, I'm i just going to keep rambling on and restating points I've already made. So, yeah, I'll, I'll end it here. But, man... What a brilliant episode.